Welcome to the estate on the Halifax, everybody. We hope that you guys enjoy this tour of what we have to offer here for you. We are a 10 and a half acre private family owned and operated estate, and we specialize specifically in weddings. We've been in business since 1999, and my family has owned this wonderful facility since the late 1960s. We are excited to show you our tavern, which is our indoor reception facility. It was built originally as a home in the 1920s, and we've since created a space that allows for us to host group sizes from 40 to 200 folks in this handicap accessible venue. All right, so this is our main tavern floor. We are able to seat up to 110 guests comfortably in this space. We like guests to sit at round tables. We really feel like you guys have a great opportunity to have a conversation. So we include tables, chairs, and floor length white linens in all of our reservations. The decor you see in here today is a great example of some of the wonderful things our vendors in this area are able to do for you. Um, within this space, we are also on our dance floor. So we generally find that your guests are gonna really enjoy this space. So we see some personalized decor around here at times. The tool is just something up to demonstrate, but we also see hanging flowers, crystals, market lighting, and some drapery or theme specific decor in here as well. We have a projector that's gonna hit on a screen that drops out of the ceiling behind that sweetheart table area there to allow you to show your guests any slideshow pictures or video you'd like to at any point during your event. We've got space dedicated for your DJ on one side of this space and also for cake or dessert so that your guests are all able to enjoy those components down here. This building, like I mentioned earlier, does have a capacity of up to 200 folks. We have some fantastic balcony seating that's going to enable us to add in as many guests as you would need up to that number beyond the space that we are able to comfortably seat down here on this main floor space. So this is our main tavern bar. We hold a liquor license, so we are the ones that are going to both provide and serve any available adult beverages to your guests. We are able to do anything from a dry bar all the way up through an open premium liquor service. It's something that your guests are going to be able to have access to at cocktail hour as well in here at the reception location. And we have many options that you're able to select from for your day. We also have a secondary satellite bar on the second floor so that all of your guests don't necessarily have to stand in line from one bar. If you guys are having a good sized guest count at your wedding, our goal is always to be as efficient and customer service friendly as possible. So this is our balcony. These are our VIP seats for those guests. When you need to get above that 110 count, we've got wonderful seating options that are here along the balcony. They allow for everybody to see things like your introductions, your first dance, your toast, things that people really like to be a witness to. They're able to enjoy from their fantastic seats up here. You can also see our grand staircase. That's our recommendation for all of our couples to be introduced into their guest group by walking down that staircase. It's a wonderful photography opportunity and all of your guests can see you come in from there as well. So this is our chapel, built originally in 1897. It was this area's first town hall and community center. It was gifted to my family in 1997 so that we could save the history behind it by relocating it here to the property and utilizing it as our fantastic indoor ceremony space. Comfortable numbers in here go as high as seated capacity of 150 and it's got air conditioning. So we're gonna make sure your guests are always comfortable when we're having an indoor ceremony here. So this is the inside of the chapel. As you can see, we've got some really great old world style of curved pews. That's what gives us such a great seated capacity in here. We've got some great decor options in our niches. That is our recommendation for decor in here is something that is able to be displayed on either side of your altar space. We've got a couple of different furniture options that can be utilized on that altar as well where that table is located. So that if you're looking to do any ceremony within your ceremony, we've got great opportunities that you can display those items on. We're extremely acoustic in here. We don't need any microphones on anybody. Music is always something that is well enjoyed at a wedding ceremony. So there you have a live musician, you've got a DJ playing your music for you. It's a great space in here that your guests are going to be able to take advantage of. And we've also got an 1893 bronze bell in here. So it's something that is going to be rung every wedding day that you and your guests are all going to very much enjoy the opportunity to experience that. So for all of our indoor ceremony clients, you guys are actually going to be the ones that pull this rope at the conclusion of your ceremony. For anybody who's getting married outside, my staff will ring this bell on your behalf at the same point during your event. So you and your guests will still always be able to hear it ring. It's a great tolling bell that really signifies the union of your wedding day. So for those of you who are interested in having an outdoor ceremony for your wedding, we have three potential outdoor ceremony locations here on our property. This site here is our Rivergate location. It's our largest, most open location. We get a fantastic sea breeze here because of where we are located. So we find that this location is really going to have your guests feeling comfortable because of that breeze that's going to welcome them here. As you can see, the chairs are set up where they would be located in the grass on either side of this driveway, which is going to serve as the aisle for the ceremony itself. Generally seeing an altar space set between the second set of light poles behind me and those black gates always allow for that great view out towards the river there. 
The dock on the water there is ours as well and is a great opportunity for photo work. We really recommend pictures to occur out there both during the daytime as well as some couples work at night. We're able to see the Ponce Inlet Lighthouse light spin from here. So it's a very unique photo to have captured on your wedding day here at the estate on the Halifax. So this is Agatha's guest house. This home was built originally in 1914. As one of a handful of homes built to showcase what waterfront Central Florida had to offer, the goal of which was to lure Northerners to come move here to Central Florida. We acquired this home in the 80s and in the 90s, put a large west-facing addition onto it. This is our bridal suite. It's a two-story, three-bedroom, four-bath home with an indoor pool and hot tub. It's where the bridal party will have hair and makeup process done, and there's also an overnight stay included for the couple or up to six guests in this magnificent home on the night of your wedding. So this is the main floor of Agatha's guest house. It's our recommendation for our ladies to arrive here early in the morning so that you can start that hair and makeup procedure. We have great natural light in this house, so it is a very relaxing and enjoyable experience having hair and makeup come to you here on property. We also have a full kitchen. We are gonna provide sodas and water for you in here. You're also welcome to bring in any of your own adult beverages as well as food. We don't have to control that adult beverage consumption until we've reached that guest level. We've got a pool in here as well. That is something that we more commonly see enjoyed after an event has concluded. Your hair artist is not likely to want you to swim before you have your hair done. We also allow for you to have up to 25 people with you back here at the end of your night if you'd like to have a little after party or continue enjoying some time with those people that are more close to you. So this is the original site of Agatha's guest house. Like I mentioned before, built originally in 1913. There are awesome opportunities for some photo backdrops in here. We also get really great natural light. So your makeup artists will commonly use some of these areas up here for their makeup purposes to really capture that best natural light for you. We see uh, parent first looks done in here. We also see some bridal party photo work that's going to be shot in these locations, capturing fantastic photo work for you. So this is the main master bedroom of this home. What we've done is create an environment that is able to be utilized for the getting ready purpose, plenty of floor space for getting into any of your formal wear on a wedding day. We've also allowed for you to control the temperature in here. There is an independently controlled thermostat so you can get it whatever temperature you would like it to be that day. We've got a great indoor balcony here as well. The bar that these curtains hanging from are where we recommend your formal wear hang from as well. Fantastic photography opportunities from the staircase back in this direction and it's also going to ensure that none of your formwear is wrinkled when you go to put it on on your wedding day. This bedroom is facing the Halifax River so you've got great views when you're utilizing it. The blinds in here are operational so open during the day so that you can enjoy the views and able to be closed at night so that when you guys are waking up the morning following your event the sunrise isn't going to wake you up quite so early. So we do have two additional bedrooms in this home as well and a full-size bathroom up here on this level. What we find is that we don't generally see friends stay the night with you on your wedding night, but if for some reason you guys had an alternative plan, we do see up to six folks who are able to comfortably utilize this space. We've also got a great spiral staircase. It is always something utilized for picture work and the ability to have dresses hung on the outside of the wrought iron rails and for bridal party members to be able to stand at different heights for some fantastic additions to your photography on your wedding day. So this is our main garden area. This is our preferred location for hosting cocktail hour here at the estate on the Halifax. Our goal is to give your guests three unique experiences. One at your ceremony site of choice, one here in the garden area for cocktail hour, and then at the tavern for your reception. The main garden area out here has four giant koi ponds interconnected by a stream and water wheel. We also have some strategically located benches so that if anyone would like or need a place to sit while out here for your cocktail hour event, they should find an opportunity to do so. We're going to serve your food and beverage of choice at cocktail hour as well. We've got some locations where that can be done. We also are going to find some cocktail height tables throughout this area so that someone could set a food or drink item down onto those. We find that there are some great photography opportunities that you and your formal photographers may utilize while doing photo work here on your wedding day as well. This is Snow White's Cottage. This is our location that we utilize for hosting your cocktail hour food and beverage. This structure was built originally by hand in the 1920s and we've created it into a space that allows for us to do that food and beverage element in cocktail hour. We see food items displayed here on these two glass tables and we offer beverage service from our bar. We always are going to have water and lemonade available to your guests out here and we also offer adult beverage service packages as well. This is an air conditioned space, so should your guests find that the outside might not be the best temperature for them on your event day, they can come in and enjoy the environment in here. We've got some fixed benches in here as well for anyone who might want to find a home for a little while. Ultimately, our goal is to allow for folks to come in, grab something to eat or drink, and continue out into the garden area to enjoy their time during your cocktail hour. 
So this is our oak tree location. This is the second of our outdoor ceremony sites. This one's contained within our terrain tracks, creating a really great intimate environment, able to seat up to 150 guests here in this location. We've got a fixed ramp that's going to ensure safe passageway for all of our bridal party members over those train tracks. And these are how your guest chairs would be facing. An altar space which would be set underneath that big moss covered arch limb there, creating that unique environment here in this location. We get a great sea breeze because we are between two of our homes on the property and we're also adjacent to our main lake with fountains that are always on during an event day. So this is our gazebo. This is our third and most commonly selected outdoor ceremony site here at the estate on the Halifax. This location gets selected most commonly because of its amazing backdrops. We've got such great uh, historic oak tree coverage here as well as being adjacent to our main lake with two fountains on on all of our event days. The gazebo also has the structural component for your ceremony site. So we just need some decor out here that helps to showcase the vision or color palette for your day. In this location, we find that your guests are gonna seat here. They are all able to adequately see your ceremony site and our bridal party members are gonna come in a 150 foot long brick pathway that leads from the back of our estate house here on the property to this site. That is going to ensure a safe passageway for everybody coming in, not having to transition into this grass area here. The chairs for the guests are broken to allow for easier access for them to find a seat for your ceremony. We also find that the gazebo is our number two most photographed outdoor component of our property, regardless of its use as a ceremony site. We would still expect to see all of our clients be encouraged out here with their photographer for both daytime group work photography because of the stair step component to the gazebo, as well as some great couples work nighttime pictures. Each column of the gazebo has a light on the top of it that is going to create a very wonderful ambiance for you to utilize during your nighttime photography period of your wedding day. Our property signature photo location here at the estate is our covered train bridge that runs through the middle of our large lake. That is something that we consider all of our clients having photo work, whether it's daytime, nighttime, couples work or group work location photos out there as well. Photographers will take advantage of that spot from shooting all the different sides of the lake, as well as down the length of the rails and creating a tunneled look option there for you. This lake also has two fountains in it, as you've seen. Those fountains are really cool for photo work purposes, but they also serve a purpose. They help us to reduce any of our road noise onto the property on your event day. We want to make sure that all your guests are hearing is music from your day and the vows that you guys are speaking. So this is the estate house. This home was built originally in 1913. It is a 5,000 square foot home with six bedrooms that's able to sleep 14 people. It's an optional add-on to any wedding weekend or wedding day when you have folks from out of town who may need the place to stay here on the property. This is available for a three night minimum stay for anyone that's directly related to an event occurring here on the property. So this is the main living area of the estate house. This is a environment that we want friends or family here for your day that are staying on property to really be able to enjoy. This house has three master en suites that are located within it, two of which are down here on the main floor. The third is upstairs along with three additional bedrooms. We also have an outdoor pool and patio space for you to enjoy along with a grill. We've got a conditioned front porch that faces out to the Halifax River to be able to enjoy the space here and a dock located on the river if anyone would like to bring a boat with them to this location, feel free to do so. This house is a great addition to any wedding day here at the estate on the Halifax. This is the second floor of the estate house. So this is where the additional bedrooms are located. All of the rooms that are up here face out to the Halifax River which means that your guests staying here will have a fantastic view and able to enjoy that while they're here. We've also got another one of the master bedrooms, like I mentioned, which is located up here. And then the other three bedrooms are also gonna share one of the restrooms that are up here. It's a great amount of space for your guests to be able to take advantage of while here for your wedding day. This is our train car. So this is a 1946 built train car that was originally running on the Louisville and Nashville rail lines. There are 85 foot long cars that were split in the middle by a bar. The half we're on here is the original live entertainment space and we also have a dining portion on the back half of the train car here. What we've done through our restoration is create the space to be as original from the late 40s and early 50s as it would have been when it was in service. There are some great enjoyable space in here for relaxation with our theater style reclining chairs and pub height table and chairs. The back half of the car as the dining portion is the getting dressed space. As a train car, it is only so wide, so we want to create an environment that the bridal party members who are utilizing this space have a 
element of privacy for getting ready. It is accessible for the duration of a day. Not only is it a great getting ready space, but we also find some really nice couples work photography opportunities that are shot from the inside of this train car, both as a daytime and a nighttime addition to your photography here at the estate. So the estate on the Halifax really prides ourselves in exclusivity on behalf of our clients. We want you to feel like this is your property for your entire wedding day. The way our reservations work is that you have access to the property from 9 a.m. to 11 p.m. on your wedding day with exclusive access beginning at 11 a.m., meaning nothing else can occur other than functions related to your wedding from that point forward. With Agatha's guest house having that overnight stay, you guys are also obviously going to be here in that home till the following morning. We really feel like it's a wonderful opportunity to fully enjoy the experience of your day here on our property. We have the opportunity for hair and makeup to start right away for the ladies. We also allow for decor to begin as early as 9 a.m. so that there are functions of your day which are not limited to a time constraint. We do have a 10 p.m. noise ordinance that is county imposed, so we end our receptions at that point. With the ability to have folks back to Agatha's, you are able to extend some of your opportunities for usable time here on the venue for a smaller number of guests. The property also boasts a tremendous number of photography opportunities all over. So we find that not only are you going to see photo work done at your ceremony site of choice, but the expectation is also that you have photo work done throughout our property. On um, both some pre-ceremony bridal party photo work, some formal work that's likely to be shot during your cocktail hour window, uh, fantastic opportunities for sunset pictures here with our orientation next to the river. And we also have great nighttime opportunities with all of the outdoor space, as well as some of the indoor opportunities that can be utilized for that nighttime photo work. What we want to create and portray to our clients is that the estate on the Halifax is an awesome opportunity to come have your wedding day here. Let us help you make it the most memorable day you will have.